How's it going guys, it's Kyle with the How2K123 here, and today I got a quick video for you guys showing you guys how to install RTX Voice on a GTX graphics card. So in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating this on my GeForce GTX 970. I've also heard this works great on GT graphics cards like the GT 1030, but I'm not sure exactly which GTX graphics cards it works on and which ones it doesn't work on, but I would still give it a try. Uh, you don't really have anything to lose and it's uh, pretty cool to try out uh, and see if it works. So one more thing before we uh, get into the tutorial, also make sure that you are running the latest uh, driver for your graphics card. So just come here to GeForce Experience and update to the latest driver uh, for your graphics card. So to begin, uh, head into the description below and I'll have a link to NVIDIA's website where you can download RTX Voice. So once you're on this page, just come down here and click on Setup Guide and that's going to bring you down on the page and then click on Download the App. So it's about 328 megabytes, so depending on your internet speed, it might take some time to download. So I'll be back when this is finished downloading. Alright, so the download just finished, and I'm just going to right-click on the file and click Show in Folder. And it's in my downloads. I'm just going to drag it to my desktop just for easy access. And now we close out the downloads, and we're going to want to launch the setup here. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, the first time I actually installed this, uh, Windows Defender actually uh, scanned it and said that it could be harmful to my computer. But uh, don't worry, just click on Run. And uh, it's from the video's official website, so you probably don't really have to worry about it being a virus. But I just wanted to tell you guys that, uh, just in case that pops up. But once the installer is up, it's actually going to say that we can't install uh, RTX Voice on this graphics card because it's, it's a, a GTX. So it's just going to say, uh, NVIDIA installer cannot continue. And that's okay, that's supposed to happen. Uh, but the reason why we had to run this installer is because it actually put some temporary files on our system that we're going to need to edit. So just click on Close. And you're going to want to open your file explorer here. And once your file explorer is open, you're going to want to paste this path at the into the address bar here. So I'll have this in the description below if you just want to copy and paste it up here. And just go ahead and hit enter. It's going to bring you to this folder here. And you're going to see a file here that's called rtxvoice.nvi. So we're going to need to edit this with notepad. And you're going to want to come to the start button here. I'll just type in notepad. And we need to run this as an administrator, otherwise it's not going to let us save the file. So just run notepad as an administrator. And it opened up on my second monitor, and we're just going to want to click on file, open, and we're actually going to want to paste that path in here again. And you're going to want to come down here to where it says text document.txt, and you're going to want to click on all files, and then select rtxvoice.nvi, and that's going to open the file in notepad. I'll just make this bigger. So this is basically just a simple XML file and you're just going to want to find where it says constraints right here and you're going to want to highlight everything within these two constraint tags here and you're just going to want to erase it. So basically what that's doing is just saying that if we have an unsupported graphics card it won't let you uh, install the program but if we just erase it it'll actually bypass that screen for us. So you're going to want to click on file now, click on save, we can now exit out of notepad here come back to the folder here and you're going to want to go back one here to nvrtx voice and you're going to see a setup.exe file do not run the file that we placed on our desktop the installer that we downloaded we need to run the setup from this folder here so i'm going to click setup.exe and now it's going to try and run the rtx voice installer and you can see it actually bypassed the uh, error screen there and it's actually going to let us install rtx voice so click agree and continue. Now it's going to try and install RTX Voice. Now you can see that the RTX Voice application and the RTX Voice driver have been installed. You can just click on close and it's actually going to launch the program. So back over here on our desktop, it actually put a desktop icon on our desktop here. So that's uh, going to be pretty handy. But uh, RTX Voice should open automatically and you'll see a box here that says input device. So here you can choose the microphone you want to remove any background noise from. So in my case, I'll choose my blue snowball and you're going to want to check remove background noise. So this will probably be unchecked by default uh, you're just going to want to check it to enable RTX voice and you can mess with the noise suppression. I believe this is how much or how sensitive the noise removal is going to be. I'm just going to leave that at max for now. You can even mess with the output device to remove any background noise coming from your speakers, but I'm just going to skip that for now and we're just going to focus on the microphone. So that's basically it to installing RTX Voice. Now you can actually go ahead and select it on any single program you want to record your microphone with and remove background noise with. So for example, in OBS here, if I come down to mic slash aux, and then if I click the gear here, 
and then I click properties under device. Right now it's set to my blue snowball, which is what I'm recording with right now. But if I, if I select microphone RTX voice, this is going to be my microphone with all the background noise removed from RTX voice. So you're going to want to select it and this will be available in every single program uh, that uses your microphone. So like Audacity, you can do this in Discord, Skype, for example. Uh, but you can probably hear that my microphone or my voice has already changed. Uh, I believe once I selected it, if not, now it should be uh, changed. So now RTX voice is essentially being enabled. So let's go ahead and actually do some tests with RTX voice to see how good it is removing background noise. All right guys, so this is a test without RTX on. So I'm recording right now with my blue snowball as you can probably see there. I got the window open and I live on that kind of a busy street so you can probably hear some cars go by. I can tap on my desk, you can probably hear that. I also want to do the vacuum test I've seen some people do where they just take a, a vacuum. Oh yeah, by the way, the audio is completely unedited here. If I do that, you can obviously hear that. I'll think it quiet so you guys can't hear it and it's not blowing your eardrums open. But anyways, let's go ahead and try this out with RTX on, RTX voice on. All right, so I just turned RTX voice on and let's uh, do a test for some background noise. So I'll just uh, hit my desk right now. Uh, it seems like it's kind of getting picked up from RTX voice. Looking at OBS right now, but uh, still tapping on my desk. Uh, it's not really seem, like it doesn't seem like it's too loud or it's really like picking it up. Uh, still got the window open. Let's do the vacuum test right now. All right, here's the vacuum test. I'm still talking. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I haven't played it back. I've been done the test yet. Uh, yeah, so it's still going. It's pretty loud. Still talking. Uh. I look at OBS, it seems like it's still picking a bit up. It's not like in the red or yellow. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and play that back and see how it sounds. Alright, so I just did a quick playback to see how those tests sounded like it definitely got rid of the background noise but it for sure like when there was a lot of background noise like when i had the vacuum on it really killed the audio quality for sure however it is still a work in progress and it's still very cool to play around with it will definitely get rid of a lot of background noise like like from outside when i have the window open or if there's people talking in the background uh, i have a very barky chihuahua so hopefully if i use this in the future uh, he won't interrupt any more of my videos, but it's definitely really cool and it definitely works just as long as you don't have a ton of background noise. Uh, it will definitely work very well. And like I said, it's still a work in progress. So hopefully in the future it gets way better. And I would definitely give this a try if you have an RTX graphics card or if you like me have a GTX graphics card. Uh, it's really fun to play around with and it will definitely be useful uh, if you make videos or are streaming. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped. If it did, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.